Happy New Year, everybody. And that means it's time to look to see what happened in the Orange County real estate coastal market for December 2021. Let's take a look at inventory, days on market, and sales prices in that coastal region, including Newport Beach, Newport Coast and Corona Del Mar, so that we can have an idea of what the trends are going to be telling us for the first quarter of 2022. This is Kiwi the Coast, your luxury real estate specialist, helping you maximize and sell the value of your coastal home. So let's dive into the numbers, see what it's telling us. First of all, let's look at the new listings that popped up in the coastal marketplace, which we call Newport Beach. Newport Coast and Corona Del Mar. So first, let's take a look at the new listings that jumped on the market in those three city areas for December. Now, if you recall in November, that number was 52. Is it up or down in December? Well, it has dropped substantially. 44 new listings coming to the market, that's single family homes only, 44 in December. Now, if you recall back in January, what do we have? We had 130 homes coming into the market in January 2021. So we're down by at least two thirds. It's tough out there. Unless we get some more inventory popping up, it's gonna be a hard slog for buyers it's going to be in the favor for sellers. Now, before we jump into the number of homes that actually closed escrow in December, it's always good to look at the homes that were transacting in December. In other words, going under contract or pending. So guess what? November, we had 58 homes. December, it's down to 38 homes transacting. That's a drop of 20. Now, that's kind of due to the fact there's less inventory, less homes to be going under contract, but that's still a substantial drop in the activity in the marketplace last month. So next, let's look at the actual sales. Those are the closed and recorded sales single family homes for December. Now, November, we had 76 homes that actually closed. December, was it up or down? Well, surprisingly, it increased to 83 homes. That means that a backlog of listings that were out there, already existing inventory, was turning over and closing and getting sold. So good news, but it means that the available supply is reduced. Days on market next, 42 in November, going to 48 in December. Maybe a little seasonality there, slightly longer days on market for those homes that are going under contract. So next, let's look at the active inventory out there. These are the number of homes that are available, single family, in those three city areas that are available for buyers to purchase. November, of course, 198. Is it up or down? It's down 153. The inventory, overall inventory has dropped. How does it compare to January in 2021, almost a year ago? January was 350, so we are, have dropped more than half in our active inventory. So it's a very tough market still for buyers out there, probably worse so, and of course sellers are gonna have a field day unless we see a big jump in inventory coming to the market in the first quarter. We won't know that for another month. So what about the average list price of the available inventory? November, if you recall, that was around 5 million in those three city areas. Is it up or down? Well, it has increased. That's 5.3 in December. So the average list home that's on the market has increased making it a little tougher for buyers to find the right home. Hey, I hope you found all that information valuable. Now that's a wrap for December and for the year 2021. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep you up to date on all the factors affecting you and the real estate market. See you on the next video. Varun.